Hi everyone, and here's a devotional for Thursday, October 31st, 2019. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Romans 8.18 NIV. How appropriate that these two should be put together. <laughs> You can still rejoice in hardship and suffering, knowing that you will come through it victoriously. When you have come through it, you will glorify God and tell others about the great work that He did in your life and in you. The sufferings that we face are nothing compared to the glory that God will reveal in us afterwards. Um, when I go through a hard time, the the me part just immediately is starting to worry and oh my goodness how am I going to get through this how am I going to fix this what am I going to do you know but then it's like I come to my senses and I realize that okay God you know is working something in me and I ask him what I can learn from it what he's trying to teach me what character um what part of my character is he trying to to work on to to deal with um You know what? I, I'm going to go ahead and say this <laughs> again. You know, knowing what not to say is imperative here, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say this part. But um, I'm going to make a confession. This is um, something that God is still working in me. Um, at this point right now when I'm recording this, I have had my orbit, and it has been working beautifully. But when I first got it, like it would only work for a month and I'd have to send it back for repair and stuff. Um, now, I've told you guys that, that being able to read Braille, read whatever I want, anywhere I want, is has been a dream for me. To, to read any part of the Bible has been a dream. Um, one night the Lord really convicted me about this though because yes, it's been my dream and that's one thing, but to be kind of almost gloating about being able to do it is not cool. That's that's where pride comes in and that's not cool. And there was one night at church. Margaret, I don't remember if you were there or not, but um, he had me read the scripture and I did gladly, which I love to do. And then he had um, another scripture that he's like, can somebody find da 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 da. So I went and found it and I was the first one to find it and I mean I'm not proud of myself this is what God was working on me and I didn't know it at the time I tried to justify it or whatever but um, you know pride is not a good thing and the ability to to read you know it's one thing to have a dream come true but it's it's a one thing to try to lord that over other people because that's not cool and that's where I was at that time so like it wasn't long before the orbit broke down again and I had to send it back and I literally got mad at God because I didn't have it and whatever you know I had asked you guys to pray for me about something and I didn't go into detail but I am now because it it's just like I'm at this place right now and every day I thank God for this that he has given to me um I don't know how long it will last, but I thank him for it. I thank him for the ability, because it's a, an ability that I've wanted all my life. I thank God now for the ability to find whatever verse of scripture somebody wants me to find or what I want to look up for somebody or whatever. I can do that within seconds now, but it's by his grace. It's because of his gifts that he's given to me. I've learned to be grateful for that. I've learned to acknowledge the source instead of like, oh, well, I got it first you know, whatever, you know, that's, that was the wrong attitude, but the right attitude is for me to say, Lord, I thank you. And I give you the glory because number one, you gave me this, this device. It is working. You, you know, made it possible for me to have all these, um, resources in Braille at my fingertips, literally. Um, so basically God was saying no to me because I needed to learn a very powerful lesson. It was like, he got the switch out and was like, whack, you know, <laughs> because I needed it. I honestly did need that. And, you know, I had to go through a disappointing time. Okay, I do. I'm well aware, you guys, that there's much worse things than my lack of a Braille display. I know that there are sicknesses. You know, even Jeff's health and his issues are way more major than my little petty issues. But this is, 
you would have to be me to really understand the significance. So um, I'm, it's probably just sounds like babble to you guys, but I hope it does make some sense. But anyway, what I'm trying to say through all of this babble is that I needed to learn that pride in any form is not good. Um, that I need to acknowledge him in all good things that he's given to me. Even the good things that might not seem good at the time because God has given us so many things and they all end up working out for good. Lord, help us. Help us that when you say no or when bad things happen to us and we worry about that, Lord, help us to trust you and know that you have our best interest at heart and you are going to work everything out for your glory and for our good. And please help us to learn what it is that you have to teach us. In Jesus' name, amen. Sorry for all the rambling, but uh, anyway, may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.